market review is of the 1955 Ford F100 Street Rod. It's the classic cruiser by Monogram. This is a, a remanufactured by Ravel. And the colors needed. Uh, same picture. Here's some more pictures of the uh, inside. And the dimensions. Let's have a look inside. Here are the uh, classic chrome parts, and uh, not really a fan of the chrome printed by Ravel. It's all going to have to be stripped down and repainted. But we have a lot of chrome here. We've got a uh, steering column, steering wheel, we've got our discs, brakes here, uh, bumpers, and grill. Here are our wheels, we've got lots of engine parts, uh, camshaft covers. Here are our wheels, this is like a vinyl, nicely molded though with good tread. We've got uh, wide back ones and narrow front ones. Here's our glass, this is for our uh, windshield and rear windshield. Headlights, looks like I guess our, uh, this is probably our side mirrors, or side uh, windows. And here we have our main body, the cab of the truck. And that looks like it's nicely molded. Uh, we have some recessed lines. We do have some mold lines here that'll need to be sanded out. And yeah, a little rough around the edges, but otherwise uh, reasonably good mold. Uh, here we have the uh, back the flat bed of the truck as well as part of the cockpit here and the runner boards this is our chassis and then looks like the insides possibly of the doors here are our fenders and the lift gate and the inside of the back of the truck there Here we have the hood, and start to see some engine parts. There's our pedal, pedal box. Here are the uh, heads for the exhaust. We've got parts of the wheels, suspension parts. Here we have our main engine block uh, with the transmission attached. Uh, some other engine parts, the fan, suspension parts. Here's our drive shaft. Here's the radiator. And um, there's the exhaust at the top, as well as a bench seat. Here's another exhaust. We've got our dashboard here, as well as our uh, steering wheel. And the uh, drive belts there. And let's have a look at our instructions and decals. Here are the decals, nicely printed, some nice colors there. So there are the colors needed. Start off with uh, building the engine. That's then mounted to the chassis. Exhausts are then mounted. And the uh, rear suspension and uh, axle with the drive shaft are mounted, front suspension. And then the uh, steering column and cockpit are then built. And build the remaining part of the uh, cabin with the body inside of the doors. Start to build the front of the body with the grill, radiator, and then mount it on the chassis. The back of the truck's then built. Wheels then go on, and 
that's all then mounted. Last few engine pieces going on there, as well as the front bumper, and some other body parts going on. There's the uh, painting and decal guide. So all in all, good level of detail with the engine and um, other suspension parts being molded in, nice decals. Molding quality is not too bad.